This boy Sean. We are Let's work, little man. Oh, he got the bottom. Oh, he got the bottom. Oh. Camera speeds. John. Sound speed. This is Vern interview, take one. I grew up in an area called Mercy Drive. By the time I was born in the mid 80s, had its share of crime, had its share of violence. Oh, by the time I was in high school, it was referred to more commonly as Murder Drive. I had a mindset when I was being told that I was too short, too slow, wherever I am in the ditch. If there's a problem, if there's a hole, if there's an issue, I don't mind being in the ditch as long as I'm making progress towards getting out. There is an enormous problem. The prison industrial complex, mass incarceration, the disproportionate incarceration of young black males, over medication, and early death. What am I doing myself other than just talking to improve the situation. And that's the main reason I ended up in Jacksonville. Attorney Vern Jackson here. We just got out of a hearing on a restraining order, a very stressful situation. And I'm gonna just let my two clients tell you how they feel with the results. Oh, the results were wonderful. We won. We weren't able to see mom or dad, and now we have an opportunity to go and see him. And that's what's up. Turn to Jackson, that's what's up. A winner, a real winner. Yes, I'm a, what they call a solo practitioner or a general practitioner. I'm independent, so I work for myself. Why would you even accept a date with him? I just did a whole show about, no, 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 you let me finish. You asked me what I was about to say, so you let me say it. I just did a whole episode about black women accepting the wrong type of guys, dogs, men with no proven track record, and how that comes back to hunt them, and they still entertain these dogs. And I, you call me and tell me you entertaining a dog. I had to do something to at least bust a small hole in the pipeline to prison. Even if I didn't destroy the whole system, I was gonna put a hole into it. And I felt like the quickest way to do that was to start impacting the targets for that system. And the targets are disproportionately young black men. So when I got back to Jacksonville, I didn't have any money. But what I did have is I had my little brother and I had his best friend. They were about maybe eight, nine at the time. Good catch. And so I started teaching them. I started teaching them about God. I started teaching them their African history. I started training them physically. I started teaching them the discipline and the principles that they're gonna need to be successful. And that's how it started. Support the vendors. Buy black, buy black. Buy something, spend some money. Don't be a quack. The Blueprint for Black Youth Empowerment. Every black parent needs to read this book twice. Are we about begging in BPM? Is that what we're about? No? Are we about begging someone to give us jobs? Is that what we're about? We're about doing for ourselves, right? And if you're smart enough and you have the discipline to start your own business, guess what? You don't have to beg nobody to give you a job, do you? Do you have to beg anybody to hire you, Deanne? Even this, this is Sarah's product, right? These young ladies are about making money. Now what the hell is this? I don't know. <laughs> God, family, education, and community. Those are our four uh, guiding principles. God first, family, education, and community, all tied for second. Now, how many times do I gotta tell y'all?
y'all to bring homework. I've been telling y'all for months, years, to bring homework, and we still got people showing up with nothing to work on. I'm tired of you. Wall sits. Let's go. Everybody down. Let's go. Down. Y'all make sure they're doing it right. Let it burn. It's what you get for not having your homework. What you want to be a dumb junk? Get your backs against the wall, Zay. All right, y'all come up, come up, bring it in a little bit. We done, we done with the punishment. All right. Now, when people see BPM, this is the biggest black youth program in the city. They see us boxing and wrestling and shooting and laughing and playing and doing all that stuff. But we can't leave out the academics unless BPM is just gonna be playtime. We should just name this PT, playtime. That what it's gonna be? That what y'all wanna do, just have playtime? We'll be a bunch of dummies having fun? Huh? All I wanna do is have fun, but we gotta do the work before we get to the fun, okay? I still love y'all, y'all still love me? No, yes, no. Y'all will love me when y'all be successful and y'all see I was right. What about you, Zay, you love me? Do you love me? Say no homo. Okay. All right, all right, all right. What about you, Tubby? You love me? No homo. What about you? You love me? We ain't doing wall sits no more. You up? I'm good friends with a number of uh, black police officers. Uh, again, there are people within law enforcement that don't like BPM, but there are people within law enforcement who do. The problem is that law enforcement has been invaded and poisoned and overran by white supremacists. And they're gonna kill black people and black children whenever they get the chance, regardless. Let's work with the body, one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 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 Three to the body, three to the head. Three to the body, three to the head. Three to the body, three to the head. One, one, two. One, one, two, three. Work, one, one, two, three. Dig to the body, three. Uh, dig to the body, three. Three, four, three, four. Three, four, three, four. Three, four, three, four. Thanks for bringing homework. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all actually bringing homework. Don't even hang it. I appreciate it. Good. I appreciate it. Michael Honor Road student, we know that. You didn't bring no homework. I did two more. Well, you I had a strong one. Appreciate it. Give me two. Give me two. Give me two. And as I always say, BPM today. BPM tomorrow. BPM for life. Baby. When we see where that ball going, 
we slide. When we diagnose where it's going, we attack. Boom, down here. We worked on that. Get on. Get on. Get on. Get over here. Get over here. We finna put together a defense that does not. Derek, shut the hell up before I punch you in your damn face. Dip him over here. Dip him over here. <laughs> hey, we finna put together a defense that I'm not saying the standard is that we don't give up no touchdowns. We don't even give up first downs. All right? We finna smash, you hear me? We finna smash. I want violence and destruction, you hear me? Y'all ready to do this? Yes, sir. Bring it in, head busters on three, head busters on three. One, two, three! Head busters! Yeah, bring it up. We some head busters! Yeah! We some Yeah! We some Yeah! Yeah! We some Yeah! Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm a Zulu! 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 Anthony, you will be crushed, and I want Dante's face. I'm coming for Anthony! I'm coming for Anthony! Spiritually, intellectually, physically, emotionally, ideologically, all of our activities, all of the wrestling, all of the boxing, all the African history, all the academics, everything that we do is systematically targeted at arming our kids with the principles to be able to do what they need to do to stay out of the prison system, build and sustain strong black families and communities. And we don't make any bones about that. Let's get in them trenches, baby. Let's get in them trenches. Let's get in them trenches. Touchdown, baby! Touchdown! Get the snap! He was so scared he couldn't snap the ball. So scared he couldn't snap the ball. So how do you feel about marrying a black man or a white man? I date a white guy. You can't donate. <laughs> <laughs> why did you leave us? She's diverse. And why She's did you... an open-minded kid. I never left. And right why did you here. let her leave us? Mm -hmm. I let her leave us? Clearly you made her with a black man. Huh? Right? Yeah. Okay, so why did you, why did you let her But love has no color. Oh. I'm she let her daughter have an open mind. I'm not all the way African American, what so you, or black or whatever you want to call it. You, you look black to me. <laughs> Just looks could be deceiving. So did you think a white guy can ever understand her struggle as a black woman? Because she's happy about leaving us behind. I'm trying to be a black feminist. Okay? She's gonna think about that when she gets ready to go to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 
She ain't. Because yes, that's so backwards. Are you her boyfriend? What you say? What you I'm 32 have? years old, sir. So why are you trying to have? Because I'm grown and um, that's my goddaughter. Why are you so trying to advocate for that? Because that's my goddaughter. And, you know, someone has to speak up for this silly conversation. That's what you talking about. What's so silly about the black man being with the black woman? Because this is 2018. You don't have to just stick to one way. It's all about how the person treats you mm -hmm. and how you respect yourself, knowing mm -hmm. your worth. Mm -hmm. You don't need to have to deal with a black man because you're a black woman. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's just your ideology. That's what you see like. So if we go to mix with all these other races, what's going to happen to our race? That only everyone does that. That means you do what you want to do. Do you want our race? Do you want our race to continue? It's going to. Not if we go all mix and what? Away. Well, that's what I'm saying. You don't have to be a racist. 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 You don't have to we can't get extinct when we are the original man. So we can't go be oh, extinct. Oh, we can't go extinct. Well, you know, we're not having this back anymore. That's, that's you, you already had it for like 20 minutes. You don't even think about it tonight. I promise you I'm not. <laughs> Okay, okay. All right, I'll text y'all tomorrow. Keep it straight. If I say stop, that means I need a break. I might come up there and get some water. You have to remember, Dr. Martin Luther King was the king of nonviolence. He was a pacifist. He was an integrationist, a threat to the system, and they killed him, right? Not because he was going to hurt anyone. He was a loving minister. They blew his head off. And it's because he was able to get large numbers of people, black people, organized, even if it was for the wrong cause, they viewed him as a threat. Some white people don't want to see black people get organized. They don't want us to know our true history. They like us being the butt of jokes. And then when you add to that, the image of strong, intelligent, independent thinking, young black males and our black first, they see it as separatist or reverse racist. But when a strong black professional comes in and teaches the same principles to black people, it ruffles a lot of feathers. Now, for years in BPM, it's been an ongoing rivalry between uh, Dustin and Sadiq. I've been, having, I've been having them boxed for years now, and it goes back and forth, back and forth. But at the last time they boxed, I believe it was at the camp I. I think Dustin ended up getting the best of Sadiq. What a day we're gonna have another rematch in that. Let's get it crunk, let's go. Now raise your hand if you got your money on Sadiq. Raise your hand if you got your money on Dustin. Uh-oh, it's more of a split on this one. I got $50 on Sadiq. Who want it? Who want to take that? Who taking it? $29, 28 
27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good work, good work, good work. BPM is not based on hate. BPM is based on reality. Under capitalism in America, there has always been a strong, concrete, undeniable racial component. They don't come in and say, what's gonna be my relationship to the blacks? They come in and say, how can we make money? How can we pass that money along to our children? And how can we empower ourselves? So BPM's relationship to other races are the same thing competition. That's hard. I know how tired you must have been, dog. Keep fighting. Man, I ain't box yet. Keep fighting, man. Keep fighting. All right, let's take it in the house for the birthday boy. Version. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zion. Happy birthday to you. Coming up, what time for Zion? Zion, stand up. Everybody give Zion a hand. Zion is a very intelligent, strong, and tough young man. And what grade is Zion? Fourth. Fourth grade at what school, Zion? America's Little Leaders. America's Little Leaders, and he got in a fight last week. Did you win? Good job, good job. You're a BPM soldier, ain't that right? Okay, okay, and you're gonna marry you a strong, intelligent black woman, right? Oh, I forgot, and you got to get birthday next to ah! you. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's the limit. That's, it, that's the limit. It's too late, too late, too late, too late. Too late. Okay, suit him up. Come on. You got this. Let's go, man. You know what's going on. I need you to switch it up, okay? Oh, we got the body up that one time. Here, okay? Make sure you feel that his body. He, he know he get he don't want to get hit in the face, one, okay? Hit him the body here, okay? Let's go. Man, so he ready for this? This going to take a while. There you go. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, oh, you do Oh, you don't do that. Oh, 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 Good job, boy. That's it, that's it. 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 That
Who been training you, boy? Breathe, I saw Nobody don't care how hard you hit, you gotta just get over Oh, they gotta go again, cause he crying. Come on. They gotta go one more minute. You're a man, not a wimp. Come on. Stop crying. Dig deep and stand strong. Let's go. The only thing that's gonna save you now is you. Let's go. Bring him in. One more minute. Go work. Hey, don't be scared. Well, I told you. Sure. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Good Keep doing it. Go ahead. Appreciate it. Go. Right. Go. 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 Hey, give him the gloves. You alright? You alright? You did good. Hey, give him the gloves right quick. My bad, my bad, champ. Why are you acting like that? Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Put the handgun on my head. Put the handgun on my head. I'm gonna take his hand. I'm gonna take his hand. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You did good. You did good, man. You a warrior, okay? You did good, alright? You good, bro. You gotta break out of that. You gotta break out of that. Oh, Dustin's gonna head it back to the West. Dustin's gonna head it. It's me and you, sir. You gotta break out of that, man. You don't do that when you do other spots. What time is it? Okay, I'm home. 355. The women ain't get back yet? <laughs> no, they don't get no food. That's the one. They took it back. They did. Yeah. yeah. I can't make my decisions based on how I lead and how I teach, based on whether the government is gonna investigate me. Because then I would essentially just have to stop what I'm doing. <laughs> if the FBI wasn't watching, I would be surprised. They watch everything. They are probably watching you too for being here. You him, gotta be glad. I've been telling him I'm on your side. You like women, you like women with big booties, don't you? How'd you know? Shit. <laughs> you trying to talk my secret and all these Caucasian people out here and they feminine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now wait a minute. Scooby, cool. why you let them do them like this? Bust this open. Right there, right there is right there. Let's go. I need everybody on the job. Sadiq. When you're trying to get through a, a, a thick area, you got to use some manpower. You got to break this shit. Okay? Watch out, dude. All right? Now, most of the work is done. We got to come finish it off. Hey, listen, listen, I'm going to give y'all some real stuff right now. BPM is on a mission to bring the black family back, right? It's a stereotype in popular media that black men and black women don't get together and form strong families. That the Cosby's is just a show. You won't see that. You won't see that in real life. That's not true, right? So not only, not only am I proving that's not true, I'm trying to get other black men on board. I don't know what y'all doing around my house with all those But they, they, they want to, they want to be players. I mean, they want to, ha they want to just bounce they around. These some big old colors. Look at them, look at them, look at them. See the reason why I was like a player. I introduced them to beautiful. Like you was, yeah, you is a player. You just like them. You judge me by, <laughs> boy, you ain't. I introduced you to Miranda. Miranda. <laughs> I introduced him to a beautiful woman. He's she, scared. She, she own her own business. I caught him back there doing this one time. There you go. Oh, I'm trying to tell you. There you go. There you go. There you go. So he ain't wearing my hand. Look at his wrist. Go look how strong his wrist this is. This is strong looking wrist. Look at his wrist. He know he on my damn property. He on 
don't know. I got like six pieces on the I think I did see that. You posted that thing up, huh? Oh, no, that's that side, y'all. Put the sign up. Left over right. Show them how to do it, son. Left over right, baby. Left over right, just like that, Sherm. Put the sign up for I'll punch you in your face. Bring us back to our destination safely. We thank you for this time, for this fellowship with our brothers in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Everybody stay right here. Oh, look at that big old gun. Now remember, <laughs> let's go back over this. Because we could not afford to have an incident. That gun too big old look. Y'all know it's a lot of people cheering against BPN. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. Unless you are getting ready to shoot, your finger does not go inside that. It goes nowhere near that trigger. It goes here. You grab the gun and you keep it here. This is trigger discipline. If you are on target, watch out, Andrew. If you are on target, then your finger can come in there as you prepare to shoot. Other than that, your finger is here. We've been over all this, but I'm just reiterating this because we would have had some close calls before. <laughs> all right? You don't know what he's doing, so you take that gun. Careful, Is it clocked in all the way? No, that's what I we tried to do. Hey, somebody give you some ear protection. My house. <laughs> you want to go shop with y'all? Let's go. Uh -oh. Hey, Andrew, listen for this clink. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? It's the home defense, baby. It's home defense. Now I'm just going to tear up that board now. Hey, I want all the masculine energy of all my African ancestors who lost their life, I want it to come out of this gun right now. Everybody ready? Y'all ready? Let's do this. Woo! That felt good. If there's a person who sees a black kid with a gun and automatically has a negative reaction or a cringe, that person has some hangups and internal stereotypes that they're dealing with. Because I see pictures of white children with guns every day. They have an entire gun culture. And these are the people that do the massive school shootings. So if, they, if it's okay for them to possess guns at an early age, I think it would be okay to teach responsible uh, firearm safety to a black children. Drop back. Keep your hands still. You're shooting too fast. Sight it up first and then fire. Better. Take your time. I believe that every man needs to be able, prepared, and ready to defend himself and to defend his family and his property. That's just the American way. We take a raw and straightforward approach to teaching our kids the things they're gonna need to know to compete individually and as a group. And that seems to anger other groups that are just fine when their kids know what they need to do to compete. There's no organization on earth like BPM. BPM is the result of scientific study. It's the result of applying the data where they need to be applied. Some people see us as militants and radicals and outsiders. When all we're advocating for is for black people to be black first, Black family first, black business first, build and protect their own just like every other culture does. Can we wrap it up for the interview?
I, I, I said what I needed to say. Cool.